so this is without a doubt the most highly demanded thing to come back to the channel which is campaigns in awakening the rebellion or just some kind of empire war campaign so we're doing it <clears throat> we are doing it at be at my best you know at my expense we are back with awakening of the rebellion ladies and gentlemen i am sorry that it's taken me so so long to really get back into the swing of things man i remember playing through this like so what i was originally doing with this playthrough was streaming it and i was losing like i was getting pissed because the rebels and the empire were just kind of collapsing on me man at least that's what it felt like you know uh, i specifically wanted to play the black sun just to kind of get a feel for all the new stuff that they added in the mod and um yeah like i said to be perfectly frank it was tilting how quickly we were just kind of getting ran through you know so that being said we are hereby and here in fort mode i don't know what words i'm trying to use right now we're gonna conquer all this southern region and this will basically be the criminal haven i'm pretty much content with uh sacrificing anything we got up here in north just because I don't really see a, a, situ a scenario where we can pretty much hold everything. The only place we'll probably hold on to is Mandalore itself. And uh, maybe we'll lash out and strike a couple of different locations like Concord Dawn or Merker. We could also take on Yavin. I mean, Yavin's not that defended, but uh, we don't really have that strong of a fleet either. Now, the Rebels look like they're gearing up for some kind of major assault here. We do have multiple ships that could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Um... Let's move these guys Dathmir. I'm very curious what's gonna happen here. What do they even have on this planet? But anyway, it is good. It is good to be back, uh, back in my roots, back in uh, where we belong. I don't really know um, what we're gonna do just just yet. So this campaign is a few weeks deep, actually, 21 weeks to be exact. <laughs> so it's not exactly you know uh, what you would call a fresh start, but it's a start nonetheless. So we did take over Hoth, I remember that. We barely took over Hoth, I remember that. Um, okay. Yeah, pretty much any territories that we lose up here, I, I'm, I'm content with. Like, honestly, I don't even think I might back up these, the defenses at uh, Dathomir, if we're being real. I just kind of don't see a point in it. Tactical battle imminent. Yep, that's all yours, buddy. I'm going to bother with it. Construction location. Actually, yeah. Yep, let's just fork over those defenses. Imminent. Wow. Oh yeah, we weren't beating that fleet. That's fine. You could have it. Corruption has been removed. That is perfectly okay, ladies and gentlemen. That that gives us less stuff to worry about, at least for the time being. Uh, Fondor is going to be a problem. Because, man, we are not really in a good defensive position when it comes to Fondor. They now have access to our holdings at rat attack and blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is, I, already, I already feel the stress like welling up the back of my neck a little bit here. Um, we're gonna maintain our composure though and try not to get too too flustered um but okay now it's just depending on what we do next here we got several different locations we can go to we can go to Utapa. we can go to we don't want to mm, they have a lot of stuff here wow yeah, let's just leave this here let's try going to Utapa. just secure all these orbits whatever happens happens yep all yours buddy all yours Tactical battle okay. imminent. Yep. Oh my lord, hold the phone. Why did I do that? Hold on, wait a minute. No, 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 no. I don't give a damn. That's the only time you'll ever see me do something like that. Holy smokes, that was not worth it. I was just messing around, man. Fuck. <laughs> Holy cow. Tactical Jesus. Actually, wait. Um... Oh yeah, we're not winning this battle. <laughs> I was thinking like, maybe we can, maybe there's a chance. Tactical battle oh. Squadron reporting. Let me see, how bad is this fleet? Two MC, an MC-80 and an MC-75 versus a Kandosi. Wait, we can win this battle. I confirm your transmission. At least I'm pretty confident we can win it. Let's give it a crack. We'll let it do, we'll let them do their thing over there. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry for the, the, the instant save scum, but there's no way in hell I'm gonna just let that, I was not gonna let that one slide. Okay, we do have a lot of corruption though. We do have some defilers here and there, but we need to make more of them. We've got some Melnimaker facilities in Ordobana. 
rat attack is literally on the fringes so i'm kind of scared for our holdings over here um and we got a ways to go with this one but even if we get pushed back that's fine we just don't want the empire to take over literally everything you know we got so many different fronts to kind of um to kind of uh, fight we also need to corrupt a lot of different territories so we can move our fleets around and attack different places uh there's a lot of shit honestly i think that's why i, I genuinely like playing the um actually wait do we need this here are they prepping for an attack or anything actually let's withdraw that money because i feel like we're gonna need it over here more than anything else <clears throat> but um let me see fire classes are fire classes even worth it what do i even unlock with this build options magnetar i don't even think we have those build options do we yeah we know we'd have to we'd have to do some like ship builder whatever shenanigans so i am going to put orbital defenses over here for the time being until we can afford that I think we can win this battle over here, though, at Dathomir. I mean, they've got some pretty heavy forces for the most part, but we've also got some pretty heavy forces for the most part. Now, the MC-75 is inherently a direct counter to the Kandosi, in my opinion. The Kandosi has no shields. Um, We'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. I don't know how long each of these individual videos are going to be. And I don't know, we won't do every single battle in these videos. Like I'm probably going to do a couple of battles off screen because that's literally the only way I'll be able to make this work. Um, we'll see how this goes. Killing, take all that stuff. I don't actually have faith in our abilities to win this. Uh, I shouldn't I take a risk. We, skeet on out of here, Commander. we need at least like one more capital ship to really make this work. I don't see, I don't see a world where that that scenario plays out safely. So, what are our corruption options? Sabotage, not really worth it. Racketeering, we do need that. Let's send this guy over here. Progress. Pause that. And then we're gonna do this. So we do need to look into some of these options. Hmm. I mean, none of these options sound great, <laughs> if I'm being completely honest. Um, I've heard people say they like the huts, but Merc exclusive ones, eh. Uh, the Tallow Bank Corp. What the hell are these names, man? Um, I mean, I don't know. None of these options sound very favorable. It would be completely honest. Like reading over the names, and just they don't—they don't, they don't really scream out like, "Yeah, this is a great build option." Now, I could be wrong, just because I straight up don't know much about the um, uh, about the mod. <laughs> if we're being completely honest right now. Let's go ahead and attack Utapau. Like I said, we're gonna pretty much clear out all these back sectors and I'm going to be pausing a lot. If you do not like that, stop watching now. I do not want to read a single mother effing comment that says you pause too much. I don't care about that opinion <laughs> at all. So with that being said, uh, yeah, let's go. Cause I'm, I'm gonna be pausing. I'm the one who has to sit here and, and record and enjoy this, okay? I'm gonna try to make it as fun as possible, obviously for all my viewers like I usually do when it comes to this kind of content. You can suck my gonads if you think I'm not gonna pause. Um, these videos, like I said, will probably be not super ultra giga long. Maybe like 30 minutes, 30, 35 minutes maybe. That's the goal. Let's so just get in the flow of things. How dangerous is this asteroid belt? The pawns send their subordinate Pauly into the battle to defend their home world. Did they have custom units now? Did we capture this? No? Okay, we can't capture that. I'm just waiting to see fighters explode because they hit an asteroid. <laughs> Honestly, by the way, I'm gonna test to see because I'm, I'm using the in-game music. I, I don't want to try editing music into it again. It just resulted in the same weird loop tracks over and over, you know? But uh, let's see what they got. So nothing around here so far. R41 Star Chaser. In my opinion, this starfighter is a vastly underrated fighter, but it looks like something you would see in the uh, modern age. <laughs> In my opinion, I, I, th I love the way this thing looks, though. I can't be the only one that thinks that. It's like the Y-Wing. The Y-Wing isn't the most um, 
safe design and it means you're like more likely to die in a y-wing than pretty much any other starfighter type it's still a sick design than list yeah all that firepower and somehow we still lost a venator with that auto resolve that's absurd no, auto resolves will never make sense to me and i don't think they're supposed to let's um So it said they were sending, it said they were sending units in the battle, didn't it? Now these are going to be what, good, um, screeners, so I guess, anti-fighters? I've also got another remake video coming out pretty soon. I'm learning how to do map making. So hopefully that'll allow me to do some really fun custom maps and stuff too. Uh, not to include remake into a, you know, an ALCR video, but, um, just give you an update on what's to come. Oh, look at this. Wait, what? Hold on, hold this position here. Actually, let's send somebody who can afford to die. Go ahead. That's a Minox Swarm. Okay, let's keep those fighters away from that Minox Swarm. What does this do? Does, does this do literally anything? Okay, I guess... It, oh, okay, there we go. Okay, okay. I was like, I was like, wait, does this actually do anything? So if the Utapans are... Or the Pawns... Whatever, however you pronounce your weird name. Um, are they gonna be on the Rebel side? But let's get our fighters up ahead. And into the kill zone. We're entering basically what I call the point of no return because of how far out the, uh, what should we call it goes. Actually, let's call it our Corvette hero over here. He'll bring in a bunch of useful, like, support units and whatnot. We're going to play really tactical here. Hey, I'm seeing Y-Wing squadrons all over the place. Multiple CR-90s and some of the, uh, Alliance Hammerhead Corvettes. Good to know. That's the Intrepid. Wasn't that Captain Shaq's, like, one of his ships in, like, a uh, old, um, Space Engineers video? The Intrepid, Burke, the Arrow. Okay. Let's move these guys back a little bit here. We might be able to draw them to our position and kind of, you know, bring them into the kill zone. Let's put our screeners up ahead. Still got reinforcements coming in over here. Yep, here they come. They're taking the bait. Everybody maintain this position. Yes, command. Frequency open. Ready. Focus fire on the closest dreadnought cruiser. All fighters move forward. Um. Mouse worked. <laughs> All right. All right, everybody. Let's do our thing. Maintain position. Screeners are doing their damn thing, man. Holy cow. They have a lot of Dreadnought Cruisers. Okay, all fighters, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Maintain position. Niles, you're going to move up ahead and throw down the uh, Connor net. What a name. Maintain position. Uh, dude. So wait, what does this do? Okay. That might not have been the best idea. We'll make it work. Turn around. All right, all ships, focus fire and get Niles out of that tractor beam. Where is it? You not target these? Are we, are we tractor beaming them? No, they're tractor beaming us. That's on the front of the ship. Take it out. Okay, that's one. Focus are fire on the next one. All fighters forward. Screener groups, you're gonna move back up. Other units forward. You're gonna focus your fire on this, and then this will be the last time we pause, I promise. Oh, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Go, go, go. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Okay. Shit happens. Uh, I sent them a little too forward. I forgot about the tractor cannons over being completely frank on these um, port ships. All right, let's hold this position here. Full power to weapons on those screeners. Hold position. Wildwing squadrons are inbound. Set all fighters to hunt. Everybody else, focus fire on these ships and do your damn thing. We cannot afford to lose too many ships, so if you are taking damage, you are getting the hell out of the battle. Let me shoot or 
Okay, let's focus our fire on the Dreadnought Cruiser and destroy it. Right. Providence, you are free to destroy this fire. thing. Commander. <clears throat> focus fire on this. Star destroyer reporting in. Yeah, get out of there. You. Our target priority is the laser cannons. Okay. Uh, I'll call them the last of our IPV Corvettes. Might as well get the reinforcements in here. Damn, we lost one of the trim A's. That sucks. Focus fire on that closest Dreadnought Cruiser. Let's take her out. Oh, they're retreating. Gotta play... Gotta, uh, now, luckily, we can rescue Niles. I just gotta play a little bit more careful next time. We have lost some fighters, too, I'm pretty certain. Uh, just gotta make better decisions. But overall, not too bad. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Okay, so that's not honestly something that I wanted to happen. Now, he obviously will always take losses no matter the battle. Still didn't want that to happen, if we're being frank. Racketeering. Okay. We've got some time to breathe. I should have got the units grouped up early. Let's move all these troops in position. I should have did this way earlier. That's fine. We're heading out. Okay, we're making good money now. So let's check out our other options. Uh, black market, we need this tech. And if we want to do piracy, we need this. But we're working on that right now. Uh, Merc recruitment, what can we get from here? Oh, that would have been helpful. Okay, well, good to know. <laughs> that would have been helpful. All right, so we have other options over here. We got more black market stuff. We just need more presences as a whole. Looks like 15 is the max, so let's go ahead and put all these presences down. I, again, I apologize for all the pausing, but it's, it's just going to happen, by the way. Um, um, Piracy... I'll destroy you. It's in battle. I mean, that's probably a good idea. I gotta learn these mechanics at some point or another, you know? We've got 10,000 credits. Let's use them. Now, I'm worried mostly about our forward defenses, or our, our, you know, our middle ground defenses over here, like Fondor. Um, I don't even know if I want to build this damn thing. It's taking way too long. Let's build a Venator. And then, um, Screeners. I want to I wanna buff up the defenses as much as I can over there before it gets out of hand, you know? We can build defilers over here, which will be good because we can actually do a decent amount of things over here. Pretty certain, yeah, we, we got we got options to work with. Um, let's cancel this. This is really not a fleet, like, whatsoever. That's the polar opposite of what I would call a fleet. Okay, let's hurry up. Go, 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 go. We gotta hurry up, uh, uh, gents. Okay, but so far so good. My skills are yours to command. Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go, piracy. I want to see if piracy is gonna net us more income than the um, racketeering. I'm pretty certain racketeering is still inherently our bigger money maker, but uh, it's good to kind of figure things out and you know try some things out. Okay. Um. I mean, can we take over this planet with just this? We should probably put a base on Hoth, too. Because <laughs> we can put a couple of different things. We put tank dealers here, which usually means you can put up to... Oh, can we not put three for a lower build speed now? Or is it just two? Oh, whatever. Let's check our buildings. Uh, we've got cantinas over here. I'm going to put a base here. A base here. I also try to improve the quality of our ground forces to the best of my ability. Um, some screeners here. Oh, we have no space population. Um, all right, so we're in a position now to begin our attack pretty much. We've got troops or forces over here guarding the orbits of these planets. Let's get on this damn ground really quick. Okay, uh, some combat speeders. I don't think this would be too bad. <clears throat> it shouldn't be too bad whatsoever. So we can put in the skiff company because they have they have uh they 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 i don't know what i'm trying to say we will hold off on calling in the walkers until we're closer to the base okay i do effective things for you guys to shoot you savages <laughs> let's uh hold these skiffs back the transport skiffs let's hold them back for a little bit okay 
And I guess we could also just literally build turrets to, to deal with the um the uh ex the, the air units that they might have. Let's get over here quickly. We can secure a little position over there. Uh, we'll use this to cover our trail. Or cover our tails, rather. Okay, good, good. I don't think these can secure anything, really, can they? Oh, they can. Let's put a repair facility here, and then let's get a turret up over here. Do these have any kind of guns at all? We secured a build Copy. Pad. Your orders. Now it says it deploy ammo crates. I don't know Keep if I believe orders. that. Give me a Pretty certain that's one of these, right? Form up. I don't know, whatever. Pirate skip Move mobile. Moving if you've got the money, we've got the grenades. Well in that case then you can go ahead and secure Boy, this up here, gone. buddy. I honestly didn't realize they uh wait, what are these? How the hell did we get these? We're on station and ready to fire. What do you want? Where in the world do we get swoop bikes from? What can we do for you today? We're on station and ready to fire. Good news, boss. We got another command. Post. Okay, well that was easy. What can we do? Let's um do we have a group five? No, we do not. Let's get these infantry units up here. And then we'll call in our actual walker walkers. Alright, so our troops are moving in. Nice and steadily. We're also running kind of low on money. So we're gonna... We're gonna cut back now. <laughs> Get these guys up here to group 5. Let's secure this while we're at it. Might as well secure all of our, you know, back-ended areas. Okay. Oh yeah 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 go 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 mistakes were literally just made we lost a bill pad going there now okay let's have you guys go up here we secured a bill pad Jesus that was scary let's get the swoop box over here Okay. Nice and easy. Turn around. Get the hell out of there. Go, go, go. Nice hot rods you got. <laughs> okay. We might as well secure this. I guess we can start deleting some of these now. We don't need all these. If the game will, you know. Let me delete them. Hello? Can you not delete turrets anymore? Nice. Okay, multiple units are inbound. Let's engage. Hey, all forces are moving forward. Let's get let's get wacky. Okay. Come on. Okay. Let's get you back to the repair facility. You're six. Where are those rocket troopers? Okay, let's get you guys over here. This is going south really quickly. We gotta do something. Okay, that'll help. We're wiping out their infantry units pretty easily. Rockets. There we go. There we go. Of 
Okay. For a hot second, I thought they heard our own infantry units. I was about to be kind of annoyed. I think Thrawn's Revenge used to do that like way back in the day. And it was honestly just kind of goofy. Because <laughs> you just had the higher chance of killing your own troops by accident. Without cluster, the game could get sometimes, you know? Um, it was just kind of impossible to avoid scenarios where you kill your own men. Like, it was almost a given. Like, the given. Yeah, that's one part of their base that's gonna go down. They have a lot of tanks here. What the hell? Okay, let's clear those troops out up there. Let's clear these little assholes out. Just hold the position. You're expendable. They got this uh, scout trooper over here. They have a lot. What the hell? Wait a minute. Hold on. Withdraw. 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 Everybody, withdraw. Withdraw. That's kind of sketch, not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, the soups come with the soldiers. Oh, all right, that's kind of cool. Okay. This went a bit worse than I thought it would. I'm just gonna call these guys back here. Okay. They had a lot more than I thought they did, honestly. Okay. Wow, we've lost literally everything. Okay. This is gonna be one long, annoying campaign. I already know. No, I already see it happening. This is gonna be one long and very gruesome campaign. This is part of the reason why I, I literally say I just don't have time to commit because I already know how much of a rule some of these campaigns are going to be. Like, god damn, dude. We got wiped out. Okay. We'll have to wait for a bombing run then. We can make this work. Let's go. Where are their tanks? Literally, where did their tanks go? Them. Time to move out. Where? Well, let's move out. New coordinates. Where did their tanks go? If you've got the money, we've got the guns. All right, well, this is fine. This, uh, by that, I mean, it's completely not fine. We'll make it work. Like we always do. Let's move these forces up north here. Charge. Here we go, boys. Deal as much damage as we can. Right away. On our way, Commander. Skip break, mental drug noise. Go, go. Fun when they shoot back. Computers locked on target. Hey, more tanks just got wiped out. Yes, Commander. Heading out. Moving. Um, I mean, <clears throat> we got infantry in a dream. We might as well just kind of wait things out. I really underestimated how much stuff they were going to have here. Not going to lie. That is my favorite voice line ever. Kill them all, let the force sort it out. This way. Okay, let's cover our tail back here with this. There we go. Damn, are we really just ineffective against this too? There we go. I was about to say that missile that's gonna directly land on top of it should kill it. So I hope. There we go. 
They have so much stuff, man. Let's move these troops forward. Okay. Let's take out these tanks. Literally, let's just, just go. We don't have a choice now. We just gotta go. Okay, this is all we got left of our entire invasion force. We just gotta go. And let's just pray we can destroy this quick enough. I think we can. There we go. Get yeah, what's left of the turret defenses. All that concentrated fire for one stinking turret, man. Holy moly. Let's just avoid this. Where could they where else could they literally be? Oh! Oh hell no, dude! Absolutely not. No, 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 no. It literally shot down two of the bombers. Okay, I don't even want to look at that. Let's not even look at that. That's a whole lot of people that just got killed. They have any sp okay well that answers that question i was gonna say do they have any spec forces they surely do and let's get to building more um more regs because holy smokes everybody's dead uh that's 500 that's actually not that expensive <laughs> and you know it's funny i was i was thinking i was looking at this i'm like yeah there's no way in hell we'll be able to take over that planet and um well, lo and behold, the rebels were prepared in every other scenario. Like, even here. Like, that's not going to be easy either. Like I said, this is going to be one hell of a campaign, to say the least. We're definitely, we definitely cannot let them maintain this set of shipyards over here, though. Once they start building capital ships on this flank, we are literally, we are literally screwed. Like, there's nothing we can do about it. Um, all right. In the next episode, guys, we're going to strike Yavin, I think. We're going to hit the orbit of it, try to take out some of these orbital defenses and put a bit of a halt to um, some of the shenanigans. I mean, I think we should be able to do, do that pretty safely. They've got control of literally everything over here already. I wish the corporate sector would wake up and fight them. But um, yeah, not a great start, to be frank, but we'll make it work with what we've got. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like on and sub to the channel. And as always, guys, I'll see you later. May the force be with you all. Peace.